Hey guys, Julie here from Julie Earn Designs. Today I want to share with you how to make two simple pattern designs right on your iPad. So today I'm going to show you how to make an Argyle pattern and a very simple OG pattern in Procreate. So we're going to start off with the Argyle pattern. And I'm going to start by creating a new canvas of 3000 by 3000 pixels. So first I'm going to fill my blank layer with a solid color. Then I'm going to go over to my selection tool, the little arrow there, and click on the rotate 45 degrees and then click on fit to canvas. So now we created this diamond shape. Now we're going to add a second layer and choose another color, um, just something bright that's going to stand out against the background. And now I'm just going to make sure I'm using a brush that doesn't have any tapering on the ends. So just something like this one here. Now I'm just rotating my canvas to make it easier for me to draw and I'm going to start from one corner and draw a straight line all the way down to the bottom and hold it for a second to make sure that it's straight and then just tap the screen with one finger to make it a straight line. So now I'm going to duplicate that layer and go back up to our selection tool and then click on flip horizontal. So now I'm going to create a new layer and put it underneath and then fill it just with the white color. And we're pinching all the layers together and then I'm going to duplicate it four times and this is how we're going to see what our pattern looks like. So with the snapping on under our selection tool, I'm just going to go ahead and drag from the corner until it snaps into place and there's going to be these orange lines that show up. So just do that with each of the layers and send each layer into each of the four corners. So now we've pretty much got our finished Argyle pattern and this one's finished. So let's move on to our OG pattern. So again we're going to get started with a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas and we're going to go to the little wrench tool here and click on the drawing guide and we're going to turn that on and hit edit drawing guide and now we're going to adjust the grid size until there's four squares in each quadrant so you can see I've got 16 squares on the whole thing and then I'm going to just select a color here and I'm actually going to zoom in and just put a little dot right there in the center um, of that one quadrant so right in the middle uh, I'm just going to put a little dot now zooming back out you can see where I placed that dot and we're going to go back into the drawing guide now edit drawing guide and go over to the symmetry option and under options we're going to select the quadrant option so now I'm going to hit done and making sure the assisted drawing is on you can check off that drawing assist on the layer just gonna zoom in and uh, make my brush a little bigger and now I'm gonna start from the edge and draw towards that dot so I'm gonna end on the dot and I'm gonna hold it down for a second to create an arch so now I'm just turning the canvas so that I can draw my second arch so making sure to start from the same point we're gonna draw a second arch up to the other end of the canvas and then hold it down to create that arch and then just kind of adjust it like that so now we've got our shape I'm just gonna fill it in So adding another layer, putting it underneath, and then filling it with white, and I'm going to pinch those together. And like the last one, I'm going to duplicate it four times. And with the snapping on, I'm going to drag each one into the corner so that we can see how our pattern looks. 
So again, making sure when you drag it that you're getting the orange lines and not the blue line. So I'm actually gonna do it one more time here. Just pinch them together, duplicate four times, and then drag each one to the corner. So this way we can really get an idea of how our pattern is gonna look. So from here, you can like duplicate this and change the colors, um, draw on the individual um, little shapes and do all sorts of stuff with these OG patterns. Um, you can make backgrounds. So I hope that you guys liked seeing these two really simple patterns that you can create in Procreate. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to follow my channel. I'm gonna be posting more videos in the future and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.